Hey, what's going on, guys? It is the SMT. Thanks for tuning in to watch this edition of the SMT YouTube channel. Over the course of the last couple of weeks, I've been trying to keep up on all the different things that wireless providers, uh, home internet providers are doing in response to the consumer needs of what's been going on for the last several weeks. And in this time of great need, I think that companies have done a pretty good job of responding, helping and supporting their customers as best as they can, while still remaining a functional and profitable company. This can be difficult to do, but I have seen networks and I have seen companies respond, which is great. So I'm going to cover some more additional things that have just come out from Verizon and AT&T that could definitely help some people out there. So before I get going with today's video, please turn your attention to the description box. We have a link to the SMT Patreon page, exclusive content videos, perks and interactions, uh, community of like-minded network tech enthusiasts. If that interests you, the link is there. Also the second channel, Sneed Mobile Tech live streams where all the podcast live streams get archived. Then we have the Twitter handle at Sneed Tech and Megadon.net. Never need another social media platform ever again. The social media platform of the future. Uh, no algorithms, no ads, no tracking. Megadon.net. So let's start first with what Verizon is doing. Verizon has already kind of indicated some things that they are going to do for their customers as they go through these times of great need. Wireless customers are going to be receiving additional supports, and it's going to be coming in the case of receiving additional bonus data. So what this is going to be is it's going to be uh, available to all wireless customers, including small business. They'll be receiving 15 gigs of high speed data, additional or bonus data to their plans. No additional charge. Time frame, it would be starting March 25th, which would be this Wednesday at the time of this recording, and it'll run through April 30th. It includes new and existing customers. There's nothing that needs to be done. It's automatically added and included. No action uh, or anything that customers have to do to partake. Uh, already, you know, a lot of people have asked, you know, well, I already have unlimited data plan. It doesn't affect me. Well, it can also go towards your hotspot, which is great. So prepaid is also included on this, and the 15 gigs could be used towards uh, hotspot data on the prepaid, or it could be also used as on the device LTE. I also hear that it's going to include jetpack connections, so that's great. So who does it really help in this case? I think it really helps pretty much anybody that's either prepaid or postpaid, but is on limitations of plans, which anybody could use this because even if you have hotspot data, you don't have unlimited hotspot data. This gives you the additional hotspot. So pretty much any customer that's on a metered or a shared bucket plan dating back, you know, starting in 2015. So those plans would be anything like uh, the more everything Verizon plan 1.0, 2.0, the Verizon unlimited plan, all the mix and match plans, all of that stuff. Uh, business plans, as long as your accounts don't have more than 50 lines, you'll get these bonuses as well. This is great. I'm going to pivot a little bit over to AT&T, waiving wireless voice and data fee overages, which is awesome. They're actually going to be retroactively going back and addressing this all the way back to March 13th, which is great. It's going to be automatic. Customers don't have to actively take any type of action or anything. Uh, also, there's going to be no terminations of service. We know about that uh, for those 60 days. Um, CEO Randall Stevenson also has been declaring and providing some information on data um, network stressors that's going on in terms of how they're addressing it. Mobile data traffic is up 40%. Wi-Fi calling is up 100%. The network uh, has been receiving some additional attention and adjustments during these times. He stated there have been signs of stress, but overall the networks are performing very, very well. Uh, also, uh, Hans Vestberg, the CEO of Verizon, chimed in. And he was speaking about gaming being up 75%, web uses, etc. All that stuff has been up. So exactly as they expected. Uh, you think about work and school from home. The situation is obviously going to be taxing networks. But it seems so far that they're responding. Dish has helped out providing uh, additional spectrum assets that companies could use. Uh, one last thing uh, coming from uh, pretty much, I, I think this is Verizon news here That's that a lot of you uh, might want to know uh they're also going to be wavering waiving all overage charges they're going to be eliminating all late fees uh no data caps on all their plans including fios and dsl broadband for that 60-day time frame at&t is also doing this now on the fios side new plans for fios low-income consumers are going to be very happy about this they're going to be receiving lifeline discounts 
that are pretty nice up to $20 discounts the 200 by 200 download and upload speed with Disney Plus for one year is going to be $20 per month. The 400 by 400 download upload will be for 40 bucks, and then the gigabit, including the router rental, is going to be 60 bucks. Those are really, really good plans at a really, really good cost for people that qualify using that particular Lifeline discount. So, I don't know. You guys tell me what you think of these news. AT&T doing some good things. Verizon doing a ton of good stuff. I've been kind of advocating for the prepaid side and here they are included in all of this whether it's hotspot or on device data a lot there to kind of consider what these companies are doing uh, let me know what you guys think of AT&T's piece let me know what you think of Verizon with their files and their unlimited uh, LTE data uh, allowance of bonus data for hotspot and jetpacks and all that it's awesome in my opinion Really happy to see this even, including prepaid. So very, very good. Uh, nice job by Verizon there. Uh, hopefully nobody gets disconnected in these hard times. I don't know about the prepaid piece. I was hoping to see something from the monetary side, people getting deals and cost. Uh, I'll update you guys if I find anything else from any of the other carriers. So keep it locked and keep it tuned here to the SMT YouTube channel. And to ensure that you do, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you activate that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload from the SMT. Do me a favor, helps out the channel greatly. If you would like and share this video to your favorite social media platforms, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, whatever. Thank you so much in advance for that. Also, check out some of these other videos that I placed right on here. If you're not ready to leave the channel, you want to check out some other stuff, that would be awesome. Thank you so much in advance for that. That's pretty much it for this one. Thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. I'm the SMT, and we'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.